I want to start this video off by first saying that I don't condemn or condone recreational drug use. To each their own and I respect your personal decisions. Personally, I don't fare very well when it comes to taking most medications. I tend to get very sick when I do take meds. Throughout the years, I've had different types of prescription medication prescribed to me. Oxycodone, Oxycoset, Hydromorphone, Tylenol with codeine, Porolac, Tromethamine, Oh, that was for hemorrhoids. And I don't really take any of them. With that in mind, when I did talk about my upcoming trip to a few friends, ayahuasca was a word that came out of their mouths with this look of fear and curiosity. And this air of mystery really intrigued me. And so I did a quick scan on Google, really didn't do much research on this, and the few articles that I did read sparked this interest for me to experience it for myself. I bounced back and forth on this quite a bit. Should I do it? Should I not? How will my body react to it? Will I get sick? Will I die? And so I thought thought if I'm thinking this much about it, I'm probably going to look back and regret not having done it. And so I went ahead and did it. And this was my experience. Also, you're going to notice in this video, I say shaman quite a bit. It's actually shaman. I can't seem to pronounce that word properly. Shaman? 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 Shaman. I'm back on a plane. It's about 5.30 in the morning and I have a connected flight back in Sao Paulo to head up north to the Amazon. I've got to stop in Manaus before I can figure out where I go after that. Back in Sao Paulo, now waiting for my next flight to Manaus. Should be here and well actually it's here but we should be boarding in a couple of minutes. Probably like half an hour or so. Uh, and then we'll be on to Manaus. Finally made it up north into Manaus. This is the base point for the Amazon, which is right over there, and we're gonna settle, get settled in, and then make plans to head out there. Just headed off to an ayahuasca experience. I'm here with Carlos Sandre. He's taking me to meet a shaman. I don't really know much about it. I've done some research online and we're gonna find out what it's going to be all around. I'll do a vlog later on to talk a bit about my experience um, because I think it's gonna be a bit intense during the whole session. I'm here getting ready to do the uh, ayahuasca experience and the drink is right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's just me and the shaman this evening that will be taking part. We're just waiting for it to get dark and then we'll get started soon. Um, I think it's gonna get started. So I'm back in my hotel room after having done the ayahuasca experience I would say my first reflection is that it's a different experience than what I was expecting however mind you it's probably best to have done it at a retreat rather than in someone's backyard <laughs> it was interesting in the sense that it was just me there wasn't anybody else that was there except afterwards there were like three other people that randomly showed up out of nowhere and i'm like okay this is weird they were all portuguese one spoke english and i was like okay fine you know it's like that's cool whatever so they took part in it everything was in portuguese i didn't understand anything that was being said then we all drank Except for one person. She didn't drink. She just sat there and watched all of us. How I would compare it, or what I would compare it to, is something like if you've been chewing on a bark of wood for some time and then your saliva starts moistening that wood, you get that flavor. It's like very earthy, very bark, like a bit bitter. Tastes like bark. It was... It went down. Um, I still have a bit of an aftertaste of it now, now that I'm actually belching and burping. A bit of that flavor comes back up. And then we just sat there for a bit. Next thing we know, we're closing our eyes and they hit you. Like 20, 30 minutes later, you just feel this rush of energy all in your face and one of the guys the one that was like 
sitting not next to me but like two seats down he got up and he started hurling like he started throwing up and I felt like I was going to go next at one point I was going to get up and walk over to where he was throwing up at earlier and then was going to do it myself and throw up but then I kind of just like held it back and I told myself oh I, I'm not gonna throw up and so I didn't and that feeling passed and then eventually, I can't really remember much. I just remember maybe a few things like with my eyes closed, a bit pixelated. There were some shapes that were coming through. Blue and green were evident colors that kept coming up. And I saw a snake, a snake just like flizzling through on top of a water. Um, and I kept seeing snake eye, not eyes, but an eye just staring at me. Um, and then at one point there was also a mirror in front. Um, and then next thing I know it's like I it kind of felt like an out of body experience at some points where it's like you would just get drawn back in because it's like you can hear the person but they're very far away and all of a sudden it's like you're drawn back in. And then you leave your body again and you're drawn back in. But then I kept kind of like dozing off I think just like falling in and out of sleep. That was the overall feeling of it. And then next thing I know, I'm opening my eyes and the three people, they're standing and they start walking away. And then they went back into the house, which was strange. And it was just the shaman, shaman and I just sitting there. And then next thing I know, I closed my eyes again. And then I opened it and the shaman was gone. I was like, oh, okay, I guess he's gone away or whatever. But eventually he did come back. And he offered me some more of the ayahuasca and I said, no, I think I'm good. I think I've had my ayahuasca fix. So this is my experience. My first impressions, I should say. I'll probably reflect on this a bit more as days come and then prior to me posting a video. And that was my ayahuasca experience. What did I learn from ayahuasca? Was it intense? Yes and no. Yes, in the sense that when you're in that moment, your body is telling you get out like it is so intense but your mind is trapped in this sequence of events and so you can't really do anything and no in the sense that i was comparing my experience with the other experiences that i was reading up on um when i was searching on google check out these results oh thanks google and so I was creating my own expectations based on other people's expectations, which isn't fair because your body will react to it very differently from everybody else's. Was it a life-changing experience? No. For me, it wasn't life-changing experience. And at the end of it, I was probably reflecting on a few things here and there, but life went on as usual, probably because it's just been a month that has passed. But if I was to look at this in a year's time, who knows, maybe something might be different. For now, nothing has changed. Would I do it again? Yeah, I would probably do it again. But knowing what I know now, having gone through that experience, there would be a couple things that I would do differently. I would probably go and do this with a retreat, an actual retreat, rather than as a one-time experience. Because then for me, I would be going in with a purpose and I would be going through the full experience of an ayahuasca uh, retreat. There's also a lot of preparation that has to take place so there's a lot of different things that you have to prepare mentally and physically such as things that you can consume, things that activity that you shouldn't be doing beforehand. Because I didn't really do much research I didn't really do any of those things beforehand. Knowing what I know now I would probably equip myself with the necessary tools to understand what it is that I have to do beforehand to take part in an ayahuasca experience. So that was my experience. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone who is looking to take part in an ayahuasca experience or anyone that's just curious about it. Hopefully my experience has shed some light onto your own curiosity. But stay tuned because I have a few more videos that I'll be posting from this Brazil trip. Specifically right after my experience in Manaus with ayahuasca, I went straight into the Amazon. So check that out, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Tonight I get to spend the evening in the jungle. <laughs>